up, guys? James O'Hagan, Center UB Bulls, 545 meeting. Let's go. Stadium's like five minutes from my apartment, so it's pretty easy to get up and start walking during the day. It's probably my favorite strip to walk down, just because got all these nice lights, all these trees bending. Coach Sid always says, start fast. Best way to start fast is 545 meetings. We still got to do a better job establishing what kind of movement. Vertical. The vertical movement, okay? Yesterday we were going flat. Okay, I know you feel stronger, bigger, and faster. I don't think you can do that easily. I, so what do you got to be thinking, Jimmy? I got to uh, push off uh, uh, keys to... Uh, push off keys, right? Yeah. This is my dream. This is my dream. This is the office, baby. Dude, a whole day with me. What could be better? Nothing. Heading to C3 now, about to go grab some breakfast. Super hungry, so. What's on the menu for today, Jimbo? Eggs. Eggs. My favorite part about C3 is easily the breakfast. Every morning, get in here, get some pancakes, get some eggs. Always some good stuff going on. Now I just wait for my order, wait for it to come up. I'm gonna go sit over with my boys. Jake Fusak, young stud. Tyler Mabry, another young stud. <laughs> Put you on spot, what happens? I got the cameras in my control now, it's on you. Right on time. Got a little eggs, a little bacon, egg, and cheese. Usually I'll have some pancakes, but I've been trying to cut my carbs, so not today. Jimmy, baby, man. The greatest center of all time right here, baby. Dude, if I was camera shy before today, I'm not anymore. All right, so like my dad, we've been going to uh, this place, Woodlock Pines, for my entire life. Uh, my grandfather, who uh, just recently passed away, like he really instilled in us to have like a lot of family values and always come back together as a family. So basically, we'll make a home movie. Uh, me, my cousins, my brother, and my sister, we'll all be, uh, we'll, we'll all be there and we'll all be, uh, like messing around and he's made uh, Avengers movies with us, he's made uh, Walking Dead movies with us, um, uh, vampire movies. And some of the stuff that my dad comes up with is, is crazy and it's, it's so funny, my family loves it. Uh, headed to class, about to take a test, American Politics 101. Basically learning about basic principles of uh, American government, American policies, uh, the history of uh, American government, all that good stuff. Got a big test coming up. Got to get in there, got to get after it. Next part of my day is school. Finished my test, went really well. They did awesome on it. Grab a little something to eat, a little sandwich, a little smoothie, get ready to go off, get the rest of the day going. O-line is in this section so that we can get in and out because we have so much more padding than everybody else. It used to be ordered by age, but since Coach Leipold got here, this situation's been a lot better. I mean, we get to bond with our, uh, our position group, which is way more beneficial to playing the game. Ugh. Nick's a great guy. It's great. He tapes great ankles. Wow. He's nice. <laughs> Tape the most consistent ankle, I'll give you that. Oh, thanks, man. No problem. So this is a fueling station. We get a, a bunch of snacks in here. Coach Sid and the strength staff does a really great job of getting us what we need to perform that day. We got an orgain, veggie straws, two cheese sticks. Just enough to hold me over to practice before I have to get to dinner tonight. So all this stuff is awesome. I mean, it gives me a, a, that extra energy to keep going. Bus down to the, to the Bills facility in uh, Orchard Park. Ready to go. Practice number two this week. We get after it. Go Bulls. Yeah, baby! Yeah! Set hut, stab him. There you go, James. You're never gonna let him do what? Uh, 
Don't let him do what? Squeeze me. Not, not necessarily that. He's gonna try to squeeze you. Where's he trying to get to oh, though? Cross my face. Never let him cross your face. You gotta bank to get your hip there. Set. There you go, feet. Back at C3 for dinner. Starving, so let's get to it. Hey, how you doing? Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Good, how are you? Hey, Dylan. Good, how are you? Thanks, wee dog. It was a long practice today, huh? I'm, I'm pretty hungry. I'm trying to cut my carbs. I don't really try and get uh, anything with uh, pasta, no rice for me lately. Really honing my body and, and get, get right nutritionally. Enter me in an ice cream eating competition, I guarantee you I win. No doubt in my mind. My mom says it, 100% could do it. I don't get brain freeze. I mentally break brain freeze. Did you watch all the gangster movies? Goodfellas? Dude, that was on this weekend. That's such a great movie. Me and my dad watch Goodfellas every Christmas. I'm watching Sopranos right now. I, I watched it when I was little, so I'm watching it now. Dude, you watch, it's, a, it's, it's like my favorite show. Yeah. I've been, I've been watching Iron Fist right now. Empire, don't you? The, uh, no, do you watch all the, the Marvel shows on Netflix? Yeah, I watch, I watch Iron Fist right now. Dude, it's pretty good. But it's no, not as good as Daredevil. Daredevil is my favorite show. It's been a good day. Thanks for following me. This is James O'Hagan, UB Bulls. This is a day in my life. Well, offensive linemen are always sometimes the smartest but most interesting position <laughs> group to be around. And I, I think we've confirmed that by spending a day in the life of James O'Hagan. I would agree. There's something. When I think it's a special personality and a mindset to play that position. And I, I think people have a chance to see see James and everything he does. And and he's a great young man and and really goes about it in, in a unique way. And I I really appreciate all, all the things he does for us. Centers probably have to be the smartest yeah. guys on the offensive line. And maybe there's like you said, there's a perception these are just big kind of hulking guys. But there really is a lot of brain power that goes into being a good center. Do you see that from James? Absolutely. You you have to be able to to see and recognize things and make you know, split second decisions. It happens so fast. And yeah, these are bigger guys that maybe aren't going to wow you with speed, but their ability to process and have quickness along with physicality is extremely important. And James has that. He's a th going into his third year as a starter, coming off a terrific season. How much do you rely on a guy like James to be a leader, not only on your offensive unit, but on your whole team? Oh, he has. He's emerged. He embraced that. He, in fact, after the season, he came in my office and closed the door and said, Coach, what can I do to be, to be a better leader and, and, and help this team more? He also was a young man when I, when I you know, received the job that had reached out and, and through text and when I was traveling back and forth, all in, wanting to do it, embracing whatever opportunity he had to help our football team. And you see it. After practice, he may be one of the first guys in watching practice tape even before he goes back home or he may go eat and come back and that and that's what you want on a guy who wants to help move this team well he's going to be a key for the bulls not only in the middle of the offensive line but on the team as a whole and certainly a fun guy to be <laughs> around that's bull center james O'Hagan. lance thank you very much for uh, uh some insight into spring ball we've got much more over the next couple of weeks as we start to break down some of the positions the offense and the defense so we certainly look forward to that well, thanks it's great to be with you again paul all right well, we'll